Mr. Speaker, today I rise to update this House and the listening public on decisions that have taken place to advance government's commitment to reforming Bermuda's public education system. As honorable members and the listening public are aware, the government is working on improving the Bermuda public education system. This includes phasing out middle schools, creating signature schools at the senior level. We are also creating parish primary schools with one primary school in each parish and two in Pembroke and St. George's parishes. Mr. Speaker, on Monday, I held a press conference to announce that Gilbert Institute and Prospect Primary will close at the end of June 2025. This follows the updates that we shared in May about the rescoring process. Mr. Speaker, the decision to close these two schools at the end of June 2025 was based on several factors. One, the rescoring process did not alter any decisions for central zone schools. As such, the timelines for closures of these two schools shared with the school and broader community in April 2023 remains. Two, the capacity to accommodate the students from Gilbert and Prospect in other central zone schools. And three, for Prospect Primary School, addressing the infrastructure issues to redevelop the site for the signature school for exceptionalities is more practical with the school being empty. Mr. Speaker, the principals and staff at both schools were notified before the public announcement and subsequent meetings were held at each school site with staff and parents of Tuesday on Tuesday of this week. During these meetings, which were facilitated by the school principals and representatives from the Department of Education and the Education Reform Unit, more detailed information about staffing, decisions, school transfers, assistance for parents, and other logistics were discussed. The Department of Education will be working to ensure the transition is as seamless as possible and will facilitate a comprehensive implementation plan focusing on supporting students, their families, and staff. Mr. Speaker, since my press conference and the meetings held at schools with staff and parents, we have been paying close attention to public reactions in the media and on social media. We've also received feedback from concerned parents and the community. Some people are worried that there is not a plan in place, and I've even received a message recently expressing fear that the schools will not open in September 2024. I want to be clear, these schools will close in June 2025, not 2024. To address these concerns and provide more information, I would like to share more details for those who are interested. Mr. Speaker, students will be supported to understand the reason for the closure, we will explain why schools are closing. Counseling support. We will provide counseling for students both individually and in groups to help them through this change. Supportive activities. We will develop activities to help students cope with the school's closing. Student profiles. We will create detailed profiles for each student to share with their new school staff. Transfer of records. All academic records and files will be transferred to the new schools. Visits to the new school. We will arrange visits and tours to the new school so students can start getting to know their future classmates and teachers. New school orientation, as orientation will be held at the new schools to help students get settled and feedback on upcoming events. We welcome students' input and feedback on the calendar of major events leading up to the last day of school. I wish to reiterate that this support is for each and every student at Gilbert Institute and Prospect Primary, including students in special programs who, with their families, will receive additional support across the next academic year to navigate this transition. Mr. Speaker, parents will also be supported too. Again, understand the reason for the closure. We will explain why schools are closing. Counseling support. We will provide individual and group counseling for parents as needed. Information sessions. We will hold meetings and information sessions to keep everyone informed. Special program meetings. There will be dedicated meetings for students on IEPs and other programs. Enrollment options. We will discuss the various enrollment options for your child. Visits to new schools. Site visits and tours to potential new schools will be organized for parents. New school orientations. Orientations will be held to help parents get familiar with their children's new schools. Transportation details. Information about public transportation options to new schools will be provided. Uniform and PE kits. We will share details about uniform and PE kits, including financial assistance available. Join the transition team. There will be opportunities for parents to serve or attend transition team meetings. An event calendar feedback 
we will welcome parents' input and feedback on the calendar of major events leading up to the final date. Mr. Speaker, staff will be supported. Again, understanding the reason for closure. Staff career interests, we will inventory staff members' career and employment interests. Employment opportunities, information on job opportunities and options along with the processes for, of each. Counseling support, both individual and group counseling will be available. Join the transition team, staff can join the school's transition teams. HR support, human resources support will be provided to help with employment transitions. Wellness support, wellness resources and support will be available. Complete responsibilities. Staff will be supported in the completion of closing out professional duties such as taking inventory at schools and etc. End year events. Assistance with and participating in the school's closing events. Regular updates. We will provide re ongoing updates throughout the process. A contact person. A designated contact person will be available from the DOE to answer questions. DOE visits. Participate in regular check-ins with the Department of Education representatives. Feedback on the closing process. We will welcome ongoing feedback on the closing process and activities. And last but not least, calendar feedback. We will invite teachers' input and feedback on the calendar of major events leading up to the final day. Mr. Speaker, the Commissioner of Education has steadfast has been steadfast in our views in our views that the activities and rhythm of the transition process must be co-developed with school sites and led by transition teams established for each school. These are views I wholeheartedly support. The closure of Heron Bay and Clearwater at the end of the last school year allowed the Department of Education to execute and test a school closing process. The insights gained from this experience have been incorporated in the approaches I have outlined. Mr. Speaker, it is essential to focus on the learning process as this become a consistent principle, as this been a consistent principle of our approach to education reform. Education reform is a staged and phased process. It is no secret that this is the single most transformative endeavor that Bermuda has ever undertaken. As such, we must be prepared to reflect on and improve our processes each time. We recognize that there are additional schools to phase out, close, or open, and we commit to improving our processes each time. Mr. Speaker, this leads me to the remainder of the plan to transition from a three-tier to a two-tier system. I can confirm that the remainder of the revised plan to transition from three-tier to two-tier will continue to be developed over the summer and will be ready to announce to all stakeholders in term one of the 24-25 school year. Mr. Speaker, as you can appreciate, this is a labor-intensive process, factoring in, minimizing disruption to students, ensuring the transition happens with the least possible disruption for our children. Preschool locations. Preschools will need to be located at each parish primary site. Special programs placements. Special programs for functional skills, autism spectrum disorder, and Success Academy will need to be appropriately placed. Staff relocation. Details on how and where staff will be moved. Learning environment improvements. Information on construction timelines and the capacity for new learning environments. School transformation teams. Ensuring our team is capable and ready to support the expanding transformation process and advance notice of school closures. Providing timely updates and advance notice for future school closures. Mr. Speaker, we know that the closures of Gilbert Institute and Prospect Primary will impact their communities and the broader community. As I said on Monday, and I will repeat here, losing a fixture in our community is hard. The History and Legacy Committee will uphold the cherished memories of both schools, ensuring their histories and legacies are duly recognized and honored. The committee will manage essential procedures to solicit, approve, and supervise projects to document, preserve, honor, and commemorate Bermuda's educational history and legacy encompassing Gilbert Institute and Prospect Primary. Mr. Speaker, I understand that a full school transformation like ours can be lengthy and somewhat disruptive. However, through the Ministry of Education, the government of Bermuda is dedicated to improving public education for every learner. We will continue to provide regular updates through to our BPSS staff, parents, community partners, unions, PTSAs, and the public through various communication channels and engagement events. Through change, though, although change can be challenging, it remains crucial for our progress as a country. Mr. Speaker, in closing, I would like to thank the principals at, Gil, uh, the principals at Gilbert Institute, Dana Pitch, uh, Jana Pitcher, Dr. Jana Pitcher, and Prospect Primary, Dr. Holly Richardson. 
They have demonstrated exemplary leadership throughout this week with their unwavering commitment to ensure our children achieve the best possible learning and life outcomes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.